Hi people out there. I am going to make spinach salad as one of the side dishes for Easter. So you've probably seen me cook bacon in the oven. That's what I did. Look, it all wants to stay together. And I'm going to drain that, of course, on a paper towel. But this is the part I want to show you that's going to be different. I had to actually put this back in the oven to reheat because it, the whole thing got cold. And now I can't use the bacon grease how I want. So this is what I'm going to do. Ew. Look at that. This is why I put it on a cookie sheet, though, because I want to save the bacon grease. Okay. And after I do this, I'm going to, and I won't bother showing you that, I'm going to save the bacon grease using a spatula into here because I'm going to need it later for part of the hot bacon dressing. Okay. But I want to show you something else I'm going to so, do. I'm draining this. Oops. Get in there, you. And then I do take a spatula. Oops, oh no, my bunnies. Ah! <laughs> I go like this to get all of the grease off. And little bits of bacon never hurt, right? So I'll get as much of that I can in here. But I'm gonna make croutons. And you know, I've made croutons, what, two different ways at least. And I love using a thick toothy bread like ciabatta. You know, that's one of my faves. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook it in the oven. And usually I will drizzle some, and these were frozen because they were going to get a little bit of mold on them. So I put things in the freezer to hold them so I can use them later. But um, I usually drizzle olive oil on, and then when they come out, I rub a little garlic, fresh garlic on them, right? Well, this has a little bacon grease on it already. So I'm going to do this. Because I'm using these for the spinach salad. So the flavor profile will be the same. I'm going to put these in the oven for about 400. And then I'll be flipping them. And then toast them the rest of the way. Cut them up. And then on Easter morning, I'll re-crunch them up. If there's a technical word for you. And probably put a little garlic salt or something like that on them. But I might as well take advantage of my well-seasoned black pan because that browns things better and see now I have this much of the grease as a base don't get freaked out guys if you use olive oil that's grease too right just think of it like that but this has a ton of flavor in it I probably won't even use all this but I'll save some when I'm frying potatoes you know so there you have it and I'll show you the end result with these yum yum protons alrighty so my croutons are finished. Don't they look nice? Let me turn off the oven, make sure. Um, and like we said, we turned them over once. They were on this side for maybe, here, let me put it on camera, maybe like five minutes or so. And then I flipped them over for another four and they're nice and crunchy. Now at this point is when you want to do the garlic because this is warm. Let me show you. And the little garlic cloves that I picked off, what I did was I took the peel off, of course, but then I took a little sliver off. See if I have a sliver here still. Yeah, I do. On the knife. I cut it so that I would get the inside of the garlic, not the outside. What I mean by that is the little juicy part inside. <laughs> There's oil inside this little garlic clove. See how that's flat? So all I'm going to do is rub this clove of garlic, no garlic salt, okay? These are hot, <laughs> so I'm gonna do this, okay? You see if I can do it this way. It's hard to, re to hold on to this, I get it. But you just go over it just once, okay? All the way to the ends. Believe it or not, just that much, that, my friends, is garlic bread. Now, if you wanted, you could do this side and both, okay? This is easier to do if you're looking. See how it looks oily? It's that nice oil that's inside each garlic clump. I'll cut these up. Okay, after I do all of these, of course I'll cut them up, but because the Asiago is also gonna be in the spinach salads, I am gonna do this and let it like adhere, melt into each little bread, and then I'll cut them up when they're totally cool. Alrighty. Some of you might be thinking, 
That's a lot of trouble, Shirley. Sam's Club or Aldi or something sells really good croutons. Yeah, they do. But um, a couple Bible verses always come to mind when I'm fussing a little bit for parties or whatever. One of them is one of my favorites, Colossians 3.23. You guys might know it. Work as if unto the Lord, not for men. So when I'm doing this, I'm giving my best to my company, of course. But I think um, of that verse and also Ecclesiastes 9.10. Don't quote me on that. But it says something like, whatever you do, find that you're doing with your hands, like do your best, in other words. Always just do your best, right? Um, when I'm giving, and I'm just thinking of this off the cuff. When I'm, like, if they say, bring your canned goods to the food bank or, like, to a concert to drop off, that we've had that happen. I don't take the lousy beans in the back that I didn't care for or whatever. I try to give my best. Um, I'm not... I'm not boasting. I'm really, really not. But I think we're called to do that. And wouldn't you, as my guest, come into my house, like to have the best? I know when I go to somebody's house and they've really, like, they've made a, like a homemade cake or something like that, something that I really appreciate, a homemade cake, let's face it. Uh, I really know that they did their best. Now, we can't always do that. I buy an Enemans, you know, on the fly at a shop and save or something and say, here, have a hot cup of tea with this. But my point is, whatever you find your hands doing, try to do your best. So that's why I make homemade croutons. And you wouldn't believe for our spinach salad piece that my um, family always says, I love these croutons. So why wouldn't I make them? How long did that take? So there's that. Happy Easter.